Oh my. Thank you for tuning in. Let's talk about the Wizards' revenge game against the Portland Trailblazers, beating them 126 to 101. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit a like and subscribe. Appreciate it. And it goes a long way to, you know, making me feel better about making more content. Now, this is a revenge game for the Wizards. Just because a couple weeks ago, they gave up a 20-point lead to Portland uh, at home and got embarrassed on the second night of embarrassing 20-plus bone lead back-to-back uh, uh, -back games. But this game was different. Why? They pulled up with their revenge getter, Mr. Kyle Kuzma. And boy, did that dude have a half and a game. So in that first half, the Wizards as a team were scorching hot from the field. Another 60% uh, from the field shooting half. Uh, their offense has just been on fire this month. Part of that's attributed to their, their increasingly easy schedule, uh, again, which has been mentioned before. Uh, and then also, it's like, again, health. Health is actually important to this team at times. But this is a game, though, where the Wizards were just able to use their height to smack around the Portland Trailblazers. Um they didn't have, uh, excuse me, the play Blazers did not have Jeremy Grant tonight. They did not have Yusuf Nurchich. So two of their best bigs out for that game, and the Wizards just took full advantage of that first half. KP had 15, Kyle Kuzma had 21, and at a certain point, it was just the Kyle Kuzma versus Dame show because uh, they were both going off in that first half. But what was concerning in the first half? Turnovers and offensive rebounds. Uh, in the first half, they had a possession where they gave up three offensive rebounds that finally led to a Dame three and Portland three which is just could be backbreaking. It's something that the Wizards, uh, you know, have struggled with all season is grabbing the board, especially offensive rebounds, just because they don't have a lot of guys that, you know, you know, rebound well, honestly, execute good discipline, box out, uh, you know, mark their man, things like that. You know, you, you just got to watch out for cutters, all those sort of things. But they were able to, uh, uh, you know, not let that hurt them too much yesterday. Now, the second half was all about the big three as well. Uh, again, uh, they ended the game as a combined unit, 80 points, 20-something rebounds, uh, double-digit assists. Uh, Brad had 19, Kuz had 33, and I want to say KP had, you know, what, whatever the difference is, like 28 or something to get them to 80. But it was great offense from them, all three of them. Kyle uh, took the lead, just getting his shots in rhythm, step, stepping up into threes, uh, doing his thing in the paint. Brad was great off ball, uh, you know, as a as a playmaker and as a scorer. And KP was just, he was in the paint. This is the KP I want to see. In the paint, feasting on munchkins. There is no reason to be parked on the perimeter all that time. He had, excuse me, he did not have that many uh, three-point shots yesterday. I'm going to try to pull it up real quick. He had, KP had three. He went one from three from three last night. And honestly, I love that game. I love that more than his eight three-pointers against Charlotte because he's where he's supposed to be, in the paint, making people defend him. And they can't just defend a seven-foot-three white man like that. All in all, the, the Portland Trailblazers fought as long as they could until Anthony Simons unfortunately came down awkwardly um, from a shot, just landing, I think, more so on the, the ball or the toes of his foot. Something happened. He left the game in the third and as, you know, Dane wasn't getting too much help outside of him and Cam Reddish yesterday. That was basically a wrap. Um, and the Wizards, thankfully, were able to hold this lead wire to wire, uh, you know, in spite of Dane going off for like 39 or something crazy because, it's you know, it's Dane. Main concerns yesterday, again, the offensive rebounds and the crazy turnovers. Thankfully, in the second half, because they had 11 nasty turnovers in that first half, second half, they only had three. Cleaned that up real well. Uh, defense was a little bit sharper. You're starting to see more guys who can play defense get a little bit more minutes. And, and, and the guys, again, now that we have health, that can play defense, can rotate that well. They're not getting many, as many minutes. Uh, Corey Kisper yesterday, again, not known for his defense, only 18 minutes. This is a guy who certain points of this year was getting 30-plus minutes a game, whether Brad was out or not. Um, and he's just not being featured anymore. So props to Wes. In fact, this is a game you got to give props to Wes Unso. Uh, he actually came in and wrote stagger on his cue cards uh, against Portland, and he actually did it. And thankfully, the offense didn't fall off because of it. Surprise, surprise, right? Um, but no, he, he threw different looks at Dame. Uh, they weren't all that great, but I guess they kept Dame on his toes. Again, 39 points. Uh, hard to say you can stop Dame on most things, but... Um, they did what they could against him. Uh, supporting cast just was not there for Portland yesterday beyond Dame, again, Cam Reddish, and uh, Anthony Simon. So, uh, yeah, props to West, though. Coached his butt off. Probably one of the best coach games I've seen him 
Uh, again, for a wider wire win, especially um, under his tenure. So, props to, them, props to the team on the Minnesota.